is my favorite store. How much damage am I going to do right now? It is Mari. I hope you guys are having a great Monday so far. I decided to record today for two reasons. One, I went to Trader Joe's and I want to share some of the stuff I have. And number two, I have been slacking. Slacking is not even the word. I've been fucking up big time with my carb cycling and I want to stay accountable. And the best way to do that is to make sure that you guys see what I'm eating. So my goal is to stay under 130 grams of carbs a day. And I want to change my mindset of low carbs. I'm going to think of it as a high protein, high fat day. So instead of thinking of what I cannot eat, I'll think of what I can eat, if that makes any sense. Just shifting the mindset. But anyways, let me show you some of the stuff I got. Um, in terms of protein, I got some chicken, light string cheese. I love this as a snack. I have egg whites. What else do we have? Um... I love bacon, but I don't like to make bacon because I just don't like the smell of it. So I always get fully cooked bacon. I just, for me, that's my preference. I just don't like the smell of bacon. Ugh. And what else? Oh, I love Greek food. I love Greek food. And I saw this today. Gyro wheat. I'm so excited. I'm definitely going to make this today. The, um, for two ounces, it is 190 calories. 16 grams of fat, high fat day, and carbs only four, and protein is eight grams. So I'm gonna have that, and then of course, I have to make it authentic. I got some tzatziki sauce, some feta cheese, and then I wanna make it like a quinoa bowl. So I'm gonna have some multi-grain quinoa, not multi-grain, three tri-color quinoa, sorry. Broccoli slaw to mix it up with. And yeah, I think it's gonna be really good. I'm really excited. I might even throw some avocados in there. I don't know, maybe not. But I also got bananas. Um, from my poke bowls, I had the avocado. I got some edamame for smoothies. I got frozen strawberries, frozen berry medley, uh, pasta, whole wheat pasta. This is by far my favorite marinara sauce in the world. Absolutely love this marinara sauce. I kind of wish it was a jar, but it's okay because I just open it and I pour it into a jar once I use it. Of course, I had to get my sunflower seed butter, some sriracha sauce from my poke balls, almond milk, and oh, I dropped my apples, <laughs> and some Fuji apples. I think this is perfect for the week. So the goal is to stay under 130, 100, under 130 grams. And then, because I'm a big visual person, I actually wrote down over here like these are my car breaks downs for the week it is for regular days 1680 calories 160 carbs 125 protein and 60 fat for low carb 1650 calories 130 carbs 125 protein and 70 fat I write like a serial killer how embarrassing is that but that's the goal for today sorry my, my bed is never made I never make my bed only so Zen can have a comfortable bed when he's home. But yeah, my first meal I think is going to be a smoothie. I think I'm going to have a smoothie and I'm going to double up or at least one and a half scoops of protein to get more protein in. Yeah, let me go do that because I'm starving. It's already, it's already 1030. It's been a busy day. Met with the client, went to Joe's, not to put the groceries away. First I'll have my smoothie and then I'll separate my chicken because whenever I buy like chicken or steak or whatever, I always, like I said it before, something fell, I always put it in Ziploc baggies. That way when I put it in the freezer, I'll show you. I always do. I tend to write the ounces and the date on it so I know exactly when it was and how, many, how much it weighs so it's perfect. That's 
that's how I meal prep because I like fresh food and I can't just prep for the whole week. I, I, if I prep for the whole week by Saturday, I'm going to dislike the taste of the food. I have to eat fresh food. That's just me. So whatever, we'll see. Smoothie soon. If I'm wearing my green monster shirt, that means I'm going to make a green monster. And I am. I'm gonna make it with spinach, berry medley, almond milk, and a scoop and a half of my whey protein. This is my favorite flavor, vanilla ice cream. It is so freaking good. I'm gonna enjoy that and then lunch. Yes. Doesn't that look so beautiful? Look at that. Actually it looks like an acai bowl, but no, just berries, just regular berries. Mm, I'm gonna enjoy that. It is just after 11.45 in the morning and I'm seriously crashing, I'm so tired, but um, I have to get work done. So instead of falling asleep and taking a nap, I'm enjoying a protein latte. Basically, it's just um, coffee with protein powder. The trick when you make a protein latte is to make sure you let the coffee cool down a little bit because if not, it's gonna get very clumpy and gross. But yeah, and then lunch should be soon. I have to put my chicken in the oven. I'm gonna make a chicken salad wrap. And then dinner will be the gyro quinoa bowl. I think that's the plan. Plugged in my food for the day into my fitness pal, and if I stick to what I'm planning, I should stay under 130 grams of carbs. So I'm enjoying carbs. I'm still eating it, but I'm just watching to make sure I'm not having too much. And I'm having most of them pushing it towards the end of the day. So tomorrow morning, when I wake up to work out, I have energy because of course I'm fasting as usual. So I just need to have that energy. Do you guys like my mug? Zen? Oh, he's sleeping. I fucking love him. Anyways, see you guys at lunch. Just because you didn't see this in my grocery haul doesn't mean I don't love it. I just have this one and a pack in the freezer. But yes, whole wheat lavish bread, lavish, lavish bread is one of my favorite things from Trader Joe's. So make sure you get that if you get a chance. It is time for lunch. I am having a chicken salad wrap with chicken, avocado, part skim, cheddar, and then I seasoned it with Flavor God Ranch. I wish it would focus, but it doesn't. I promise it says Flavor God Ranch on it. There we go, Flavor God Ranch and a little bit of mayo, and it's about 5.3 ounces of chicken, so protein, protein. It is four o'clock, I'm gonna start making dinner, don't judge. Um, I'm gonna do the gyro slices with the tricolor quinoa, which I'm gonna cook in vegetable broth and then I'm gonna top it with tzatziki, some feta cheese, the broccoli slaw and I think I'm gonna slice up a red onion too. That'd be delicious. Here is the finished product. It is the broccoli slaw with the red onions, the gyro meat, tzatziki, some feta. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, the tricolor quinoa. I'm gonna devour this while I finally finish watching the second season of Jessica Jones. Anybody else watch this? It's really good. But yeah. Oh, and of course, I save room for some Halo. And I will be ending the full day of eating with this beautifulness. 240, guys, for the whole entire pint. I'm not going to have a pint. I'm only going to have, I believe, it is 64 grams. I'm going to have 64 grams, 60 calories, 15, no, 13 carbs, and protein is 5. Perfect snack for after dinner. Yes. This is what 63 grams of Halo looks like. It's so sad, but it's fine. It's fine. Just kidding, it's gonna be perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed my full day of eating. I'm gonna go down the numbers with you guys. So in the beginning of the video, I said my goal was to stay under 130 grams of carbs. I stayed at 127, thumbs up. My fat was to stay around 70, I was 68. And my protein was 125. I went up by 142, which I'm happy with that because, um, like I said, today's goal was more high fat, high protein, and not focusing so much on the lower carbs. Um, and the calories was 1625, and I think my goal was 1650. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with my numbers. I'm gonna put it over here so you guys can see exactly what it was. Um, tomorrow I might do this again, but the only thing is I'm gonna make some tweaks like the. Um, 
quinoa pho with the gyro meat first off the gyro meat was really good if you like greek food and sometimes you're just craving it and can't get to a greek restaurant i highly recommend you pick up that gyro meat and also i put too much onions in there it was just too too much onions so actually the taste was so overpowering that i took out almost all the onions i couldn't even deal with it and walnuts walnuts would be really good on that bowl for sure but besides that it was really good i was really impressed i think also instead of the broccoli slaw maybe some cucumbers like spiralized cucumbers yeah but i'm proud of myself and i owe it to you guys because if it wasn't for the fact that you guys were watching me i would probably have like one more serving of halo or like one more serving of like the gyro meat but <sighs> it feels good it feels good it's funny because I was reading an article, where's the magazine? Oh. I was reading an article from like um, about behavioral changes and how intrinsic motivation is better. And like right now I feel so good about what I did that that's the motivation that I need for like tomorrow. I just have to try to remember this feeling. So maybe tomorrow I'll just watch this video. I'm like, oh, remember that time you were so great? That was a good time. But I'm gonna go because it's almost five o'clock gonna wash this face off and snuggle with that boy can you see him i hope you can because last week i was talking to him and i realized that you guys couldn't see him so it looks like i'm just talking to myself but yeah thank you for watching my full day of eating i hope you guys enjoyed it um but that's that as always my loves thank you so so much and namaste bye what come here Go eat yums. Bye.